Welcome back everyone, it's Rebecca coming back with another DIY. So today we're gonna do uh, the mirror from Harry Potter, so the mirror of Erised. Um, and it's a pretty nice mirror that we could recreate it with cardboard. And so I already have the mirror here. Um, I've already traced it. You're gonna trace it along the cardboard that you're gonna use. And depending on the mirror that you have, that's really gonna depend on the size of the cardboard as well. Um, I have to take into account the width of the mirror because I want that covered. The cardboard, um, we're gonna create a cutout and I'm gonna lay it on the top. I really don't wanna damage the mirror because I might use it for something eventually. But the cardboard, I'm just gonna lay it on top um, of, this, of this mirror, of the frame. Okay, so this is how it looks. I've already marked my spaces. I do wanna let you guys know that there is a link with the templates for the, this part of the mirror, the top, and then the sides. All the other stuff, you actually kind of just have to uh, measure it yourself. So the length of this here, I could have put it lower if I wanted to, or, or higher, kind of wanted it a little bit higher. Uh, but it's all measured out according to the width of the frame that I do want to cover. So this is going to lay on top. Um, and this is what I've done so far. So I've already cut, cut these out. And what I need to do eventually is use my X-Acto knife and I'll go in and cut each of these. And then I'll cut this as well because this is where my mirror is gonna go ahead and um, show through. So for the details, however, like these, you have to eyeball it. There's no template for it. You just kind of have to have a printout or a, up the mirror up close so that way you can get those details yourself and then sketch it yourself. Um, let's see, so just the, the, the hardest part is for me was just measuring, so I had to constantly be measuring everything to make sure that it's uh, even, even on the sides. I had to make sure that these are even to the other side. So that, that's what takes a lot of time is just measuring and making sure that everything is even and um, finding your center as well is important. So this is my center here, this is where the tip is, and then the end of the, the top of the mirror, there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut these parts out, these here as well, and I'll go ahead and show you once I'm done. So this is what we have so far. What I'm gonna do now is cut these edges here, and now I'll just have the silhouette once we come back. So it's all cut up now, um, and this is how it looks. It was going to be like this, but I've added this part here because I don't like how this the frame actually shows. I don't. I didn't end up liking it, so I'm going to drop it down, and that's why I'm going to use this to cover the bottom portion of the frame. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is start tracing using the the glue gun, and I've already drawn, like I said previously, all the details on the mirror. And my best suggest, like suggestion or tip would be to print out um, pictures of the mirror and then having that on hand and then freehanding it yourself. But this is how it looks. And I'm gonna go ahead with the glue gun and start outlining all of the pieces um, around here. So that's, that's the next step is tracing.
So I've already start, finished tracing all of the um, things I needed to outline with the glue gun. It did take some time um, to do. And then that, like I said before, you have to eyeball it yourself or even create uh, your own designs, use your imagination. So I've added this to the bottom just to give it a little bit more details. So what I'm gonna do now is paint the entire cutout black. And this is a good, um, thing to do because it works as a primer. It really brings out the gold. So once I paint it on entirely black, I let it dry. I'm going to go on um, with the gold and it's going to give it this aged look. So I'm going to start and do that now. And I'm just using regular acrylic um, black paint. Harry Potter's birthday is today. Um, I'd like to know what you guys do to celebrate or if you're even a fan, what house you are. That'd be pretty fun to know. All right, so yeah, this is how it's coming around. Looking not bad. And we'll do that. Got the entire cut out. Also be gentle, you don't want to lift the glue. That might have not adhere to the cardboard so be a little bit gentle once you're walking around the move portions of the mirror. I'm just stifling it just a little bit just trying to get into some of the crevices that I can't get into but that's about it and you'll do that throughout the entire board. So I'll come back with the finished book. Alrighty so I've painted it black and it's dried up and everything. Now I'm going to go over it with the gold paint which is um, the color is antique gold. So I'm gonna go over it and I'm using a sponge. Um, if you have a sponge brush, that would work perfect. Um, but that's what I have on hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And I'm gonna just brush it all in, in the entire on the entire cutout. And then I'll show you how that is achieved or how it looks once it's done. So I'm gonna keep doing that. So here's the final look. I really liked how it turned out. I traced the inscription on the top with a hot glue gun and I used command strips to hold the Arised cutout onto the mirror. The inscription looks like it's written in foreign language, but if you look closely inscribed backwards, it says, I show not your face, but your heart's desire. And lastly, this party would not be complete without cake. Happy birthday, Harry Potter. I hope you have fun making this DIY. And remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. Remember that.